Are you afraid of getting copyright strikes on Twitch and you just want to vibe out with your community? Well, I have the easiest solution for you right now. It will literally take you three, maybe four easy steps to get through this entire tutorial, which will not miss anything like other videos forget to tell you. Warning, 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 warning. Yes, this does not cover you for live DMCA strikes, which do exist, but I have yet to see happen. But this is an easy solution to vibe to whatever music you want for your stream today which also includes your alerts. The first step is the easiest step. I will have a link in the description below. You want to download the Win Capture Audio Beta. You will click here to download. You will scroll down real quick, real simple, Win Capture Audio Beta Setup. Please make sure that you have your OBS fully closed while downloading this so the plugin could attach automatically. You'll click here. As you see, I already have it downloaded. I'll hit save. I'll hit replace. Open it up. Pops another window. Hit yes. Accept the terms of agreement. Install. We all know that you're not reading the terms of agreement. Boom. Done. Easy. Simple. Just like that. Now, to see if it's in OBS, click on any scene you have. I'm creating one called Nest Audio. It should show up as Application Audio Output Capture. Before we even touch this, we are going to go into our normal settings for my single PC setups and people not using a Gold XLR. Make sure everything is disabled except for your mic. If you have an audio interface, make sure that is selected. For my Goal XLR people, it is even easier. You didn't even need to do that other step. You just come here and make sure that you put music here, put your system settings here, and put your chat mic there, and your audio is fully split. For my dual PC friends, Make sure this just says line in, and I promise you, you will be fine. The other important setting in here is going to output. Make sure Twitch VOD track is checked. There is the two, so everything on channel two will play in your VOD. The way to check this is by clicking the three dots right here in your audio mixer advance properties and you could see what is and isn't playing in channel two once we play with the plugin you will completely understand why unselecting track two will be so easy to do just a quick reminder don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment below if you have other questions. For the sake of this video, I created one called Nest Audio. It makes things easier so you can just add this scene within other scenes. You can see my tutorial on nested scenes, which I'll have as a thumbnail at the end of this video. You're going to hit the plus now. You're going to go to Application Audio Output Capture. Now, here's the trick. If you want to get Spotify to work, you are going to hit the play button just so that it shows up. We are going to name this first one called Spotify. Hit OK. It will pop up a scene like this. I know it looks complicated, but it's actually super simple. All you're going to do is go into session, hit Spotify, hit add executable, hit OK. And now you could see that Spotify is playing on its own in here. If you want to use this for a browser source, I use Brave. Here's my why you should nest your OBS scenes. 
open it up, play something on it, hit plus. Again, application audio output capture. I'm gonna put Brave because that is one of the internet browsers I use. We found Brave, I hit okay. Now Brave is here. Now, many of you may be a bunch of gamers. All you have to do is put the specific game here. You could create one generic one for games. So every time that you have a new game and I'm using Opera as an example, it's not a video game. You would just add executable here and you would continue adding every video game you play within this. So it will always show within the game scene. Simple thing that is lacking in every video. You're worried about your alerts. You double click on your alerts. You've already put in the URL. You want to make sure you control audio vi uh, via OBS. That is the easiest solution to controlling your audio within the advanced audio output. So if you do not have DMCA friendly alerts, make sure to just turn it off channel two because channel two will show up in your VODs. It's that easy. It's that simple. Just make sure to turn it off here and it will no longer play in your VODs. If you're worried that you cannot hear it, make sure to turn monitor and output on. This way you could hear it in your ear and it also goes out to stream. Papa, that was way easy to do. I know, it's that simple. People are, are over complicating how to split the audio where all you need is one, the plugin. Two, making sure your settings are set up accordingly. And three, making sure you capture specific programs or games. Again, my name is Papa Paz. Know that you are loved, appreciated, supported, and belong here. And we'll see you next time. Bye.